Well, hey, 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 YouTube, and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the platform, allow me to introduce myself to you all. My name is Triana, and you are tuned in to Unique Guidance to Freedom. That's right. We are a growing platform family where we are helping individuals reach their full potential in life just by simply saying yes to yourself. You will be saying yes to yourself on a mental level. You will be saying yes to yourself on an emotional level. You're going to say yes to yourself on a physical level. And you're most importantly going to say yes to yourself on a spiritual level. Why? Because we know that saying yes to ourselves is the greatest, most profound thing that you could ever choose to do right now during this season in your life. And it's already long overdue. So check this out. If this is your first time on the platform, go ahead. I want you to do me a quick favor. I want you to hit that like button. I want you to hit the subscribe button and I want you to hit that notification bell so you can continue to get further notifications when I have uploaded a new video. And most importantly, I want you to drop your girl a comment. Why? Because we know that words are frequency. We know that words are vibration and we know that words are energy and we know that what we put out, that's what we receive back. So if you comment on the level of releasing Speak it out there so you can release it. If you're commenting on a level of already spiritual growing, you don't release it and you're still elevating, you feel good, you evolving, comment it. I love to see the comments. Let's put it out there, family, okay? So if you know that what I just said just resonated with you, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's keep growing, family, okay? And to my family at large, y'all know what time it is. For the people that have been rocking with your girl, sliding with your girl, gliding with your girl, and coasting with your girl, you know, as I always say, I'm proud of you. Why? Because you, me, we, and all the new members who are joining the channel, we are saying yes to ourselves. We are taking this journey. We are not giving up. We're not turning back. And we're going to continue to keep moving forward no matter the adversities, no matter the challenges, and no matter the obstacles that are coming our way. Why? Because we are evolving and we are growing stronger and stronger into ourselves, which is our magnetic powers. So, yes, you keep saying yes to yourself. Keep loving on yourself. Keep jumping the hurdles and keep growing into your knowing. I am proud of you, family. Let's keep doing it, okay? All right. Now, this is the part right here on the channel, family, where we take the time to show God, the universe, source, infinite intelligent, energy, whatever you want to call it our appreciation, our wonderful gratitude just by saying thank you. So if your morning has started off or your day, whatever time you watch this video has started out rocky, you have not taken the time to say yes, thank you, I'm appreciative. Just, just taking a moment to breathe and just pause for a second. I want to invite you right now on the platform to pause this video right now and just take a moment of silence. If you're in a secluded area, take a moment to yourself you and God that's down in the inside of you, source, infinite intelligence, that's your being that's in the inside of you just to express your thankfulness, okay? While you do that, I'm going to go ahead again on today to express my dear gratitude and my thankfulness to God, all right? Okay, so let's do it. God, I thank you for my beautiful energy that I have down in the inside of me. Thank you for the expression that you are giving me openly to divinely express myself wholeheartedly. Thank you for just allowing me to walk into these authentic powers that I have to say yes to myself and get to know the real unconditional Triana. Thank you for the roof that I have over my head, the clothes that I have on, the back, on my back, the food that I have on my table. Thank you for the breath that I breathe. Thank you for the beautiful nature that you have created, the birds, the trees, the wind that blows and gaze upon my face on a daily basis. Thank you for your unconditional love and thank you for walking with me every step of the way. Thank you for showing me the powers that I have to take back my mind. Thank you for giving me discernment. Thank you for allowing me the capability to zoom in on my thoughts, my feelings and my actions. Thank you for my family. Thank you, thank you, thank you, divine, for your peace. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your gentleness. Thank you for your self-control. 
I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Now, family, while you are taking the time to express your gratitude on today, we're going to go ahead and move forward on the message, okay? I just love the gratitude moment. The gratitude moment just does something to me, family. It's like when I, every time I just give thanks, I don't care how many times a day I just tell God thank you, it does something to my soul. It like it's just, it replenishes me. It, it uplifts me more and more and more and more. And for that, I really am thankful. And as you continue to release yourself, continue to keep growing into who you are because it only gets better, family, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and move forward with the message on today. What I want to talk about, family, I want to talk about the importance of not going back, opening up doors that God had already that God has already closed in your favor. I'm going to say that one more time. We're going to talk about the importance of not going back, opening up doors that God has closed in your favor. Now, when I say the doors that have been closed in your favor, you may have been experiencing some difficulties with family members, a rocky relationship, turmoil on your job. And it's like you just you just it's just a lot going on right now. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired of sick and tired of being sick and tired. And some of these things that we people keep going back, opening up that God has closed for us. These are things that need to stay closed and we need to stop going back opening up these doors because space needs to be created on our behalf when we ask god source infinite intelligent the universe for anything that's what we get family and i want us to really focus on that whatever you ask for that's what you receive if you take a quick moment for a second just ask god uh, think about what you have asked god the universe source whatever it is that you call it for you whatever you have asked for Think about it. Have you not gotten it? I know you have received it. And secondly, if you did not receive it, that was a door that was closed to create the open space to allow what's to come in your life. And that's why it's so important, family, during this time in your spiritual awakening, walking into your authentic self. When I say spiritual awakening, you are coming into your conscience. You are coming into your real authentic self. No matter what nobody say about you, no matter how anybody look at you, you don't care what nobody say. You're walking what you're talking. You're walking what you're talking. So therefore, the doors that have been closed on your behalf, you cannot during this time, go back and open them. For one, some of you are just now taking this path and you're not spiritually equipped yet to go back and open those doors. And if you go back and open those doors because you just started this journey and you're so fragile, it's a spiritual game we're playing. For the ones who've been rocking with me on this channel, they already know when I speak about a spiritual game, we are playing a spiritual game, family. And it's levels to the game. And you have to master those levels before you can move to the next step of the game. So right now, if you're just take, if you're just now awakening and you're trying to figure out what's this, what is this stuff that I'm feeling? What am I going through? Why I feel like this? I'm choosing me. I'm saying yes to me. I'm weighing out all negativity. Whatever, whatever it is you may be experiencing right now in your life, that's a door that has been closed that you have shut. You have shut. Because let's face it, family. God, source, infinite intelligence, higher power, it's in the inside of you. And what's in the inside of you, you are being rebirthed. You are being born again. You are coming into a self-conscious that's going to allow you to see all the foolery that's going on around you. All the demonic spirits that's going on around you because so many people are lost right now. And because you have awakened, you can't afford to go back and open up those doors, family. So I'm going to tell you again, family, when God has closed those doors in your life, do not go back and open up those doors because those doors are being closed for your favor. Allow the space to be open and created in your life. See, a lot of time we as human, we don't we don't like the unfamiliar. And the unfamiliar is what we need to run to. We spend most of our time wanting to run to the familiar because we like to be in that abusive relationship. We like that toxicity. We like that I have to go to this person and ask this person, what should I wear? How you think my hair look? All these different codependency tendencies. I'm going to say that again. All these different, type that in the comment, codependency tendencies. You don't realize that you were doing because you were unconscious. When you say unconscious, Triana, what's that? You were asleep. You were unaware. But now that you are waking up, 
You are becoming, you are becoming fully conscious of who you are. This is where you're going to have to make the real deal, authentic decisions. And sometimes it's going to be, you know, rocky. This whole journey that we are taking as we masterize these games, family, and keep going higher and higher into thyself, it's going to be rocky. It's going to be turbulence because law of correspondence, the yin and the yang, as above, so below. You can't have one without the other. But guess what? As everybody already know, they've been rocking with me on this platform. They already know on this spiritual path, you can't lose. It's just experiences. Who do you say you are? What moves do you need to make? Why are you looking for other people for validation? Go out and experience. And this is going to require deep diving within yourself. Stop going back, opening up those doors that God has closed in your favor. Because your higher self is so powerful, the magnitude of your higher self and what God's source, infinite intelligence wants to show you who you really are. If you just die to all that unconscious stuff and allow the conscious self of you come out, the magnitude of that is so profound, family. And everybody who is rocking with me on this channel, we already know that that's where we are going. We're, we're going higher. We're going higher and higher and higher. It's infinite. And I want to see what that be like. And I know you want to see what that be like too, family. So keep climbing. Keep going. Stop going back, opening up doors that God has already closed in your favor. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of joy. You are worthy of peace. You are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of self-control. Control yourself. When somebody done be wronged you and you know they be wronged you, they manipulating you, they gaslighting you. Don't go back to that family, especially if God done removed you. If your higher self, that's your higher self. When I say God, source, infinite, that's your higher self that's in the inside of you. That's come, that has come to your awakening that says enough is enough. I'm not going back. Don't go back. If those doors have been closed, leave those doors closed. Don't open them. Run to the unfamiliar. Because it's greatness on that other side. It's adventures on that other side. It's, exper it's, it's experiments on that other side. Run to it, family. We are powerful. And I'm, I'm, I'm growing in mine. And I want you to grow too. And that's why you locked in on this channel right now. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Because you know that this message is resonating with you. We have to keep climbing. We have to reach our full potential. What's full potential? My full consciousness, my higher self, and that's infinite. That's above and beyond, but above and above. Reach it, family. Let's keep going. Let's see what that be like. Because this 3D stuff is overrated. It's over. It's done. Excluded. You are coming into your conscience. Don't run from it. Don't go back to that door that was closed. Walk into the unfamiliar. Let it go because you deserve it. You are worthy of all of it. You are worthy of all these beautiful things that infinite that's up in your being alone is enough. Mm, I'm going to say that one more time. Your being alone is enough. But until you can shift your mind, it all starts with our mind, family. Shifting the mind. I know I'm saying all these things, but this is the first place where it starts. Shifting your mind. Shifting your mind. You have to know that you are worthy. You have to know that you are peace. You have to know that you are love. You have to know that you are joy. You have to know that you are powerful. You know that you, you have to know that you are magnetic and you attract these things to you. So once you change you, your environment around you starts to change. Change you first, family. Don't, don't open that door back up. Leave that door closed. So I don't know who this message is for on the day, but I know this message resonated with you. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and drop me a comment. Triana, this message was what I needed. I am not going back, opening up those doors that God has closed in my favor. Who is God? God, your higher, higher self that's evolving and finna take you higher, my sisters and brothers. So that's it. That's all. You know that I always, what I always say, family, I love you. I love you. I love you. And most importantly, continue to love yourself by what? Growing into your knowing and saying yes to you. Until the next time, family, peace.